With everything going on in the world right now, it seems like it's never been more important to be keeping your immune system strong, especially if you're also still performing intense workouts. And this doesn't just mean taking your daily multivitamin. There is a lot of lifestyle steps you can take to boost your body's immunity and stay healthy. First of all, it's important to understand that your immune system is one of the human body's main systems. Along with the lymphatic system, the immune system defends against pathogens, like viruses that can harm the body. Now, there's two major subsystems of the immune system, the innate and the adaptive systems. The innate system includes basic barriers that prevent pathogens from crossing them and doing damage to the body. Barriers like skin, hair, mucous membrane, the linings in your mouth and nostrils, even the wax in your ears. These barriers are the body's first line of defense against pathogens. The adaptive or acquired immune system, on the other hand, is specific to a particular pathogen. Vaccinations, for example, where you're given a shot that will protect you from certain diseases. Unlike the innate system, you're not born with adaptive immunity. You have to acquire it. Now the tips that I'm going to cover in this video will focus on mainly the adaptive system because that's the one you can improve with certain practices and lifestyle choices. Now what I want to do first of all is address how exercise affects your immune system. Now understand chronic stress will wreak havoc on your immune system and that stress can come from a number of sources, work, relationships, finances, even severe heat or cold and yes you guessed it, exercise. See, training is a double-edged sword. Moderate intensity exercise improves the adaptive immune system by how it responds and fights pathogens. However, on the other side, when we step it up a notch or two, well, this is where we can find intense exercise compromising to the immune system. So you might be wondering right now, if intense exercise compromises the immune system, why do we here at NZ Muscle promote and support hard physical physique changing training, potentially at the cost of your immune system? The answer is simple. Yes, intense training compromises the immune system, but only acutely, meaning it's only compromised in the hours directly following a hard workout. And if you do take measures to properly recover from your workouts, your immune system will bounce back and become stronger because of it. So let's take that one hour or so that we spend training intensely and let's park that to the side. And let's have a look at some practices to do in the other 23 hours to help build your adaptive immunity back up. First of all, make sure you wash your hands as often as possible. Now this has been promoted hard through the media of late and for good reason. Washing your hands with warm water and soap for at least 20 seconds is the simplest, most efficient thing you can do to avoid illness. Wash your hands when you're out in public, when you return home, after your training, after getting home from the gym, eventually once they open again, and wash them after interacting with another person. Clocking up adequate sleep every night is critical for allowing your body to fully recover from following intense training. Sleep is also critical for an optimal functioning immune system. It's well known that when people are sleep deprived, their immune systems take a hit and that opens them up to illness. The general recommendation for sleep is eight hours a night. Now some people need a little more, some less, but seven to nine hours is a good mark to be aiming for. As I mentioned earlier, chronic stress takes a big drain on our immune system. Meditation is well known for helping reduce stress. So it's time to make use of it. Try to find time every day for some form of mindfulness practice. And that can be yoga, traditional meditation, I do recommend an app, or just schedule in a few minutes during your day for quiet time. At the very least, start by taking two minutes before you begin work for the day, or before you start exercising to close your eyes and breathe deeply. Meditation and mindfulness are going to enhance your workouts, reduce your stress, and lead to better immune function. The immune system is literally a system of proteins. Most of them are functional proteins like hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. 
It's because of these functional proteins in the immune system that we need ample protein in our diets. Protein intake is extra important for those of us who resistance train because the trained muscles need those amino acids to perform the rebuilding physiological processes. Ensure your daily nutritional approach is a high protein one and look to include the use of a whey or isolate protein powder to make life easier to meet your daily protein requirements. Consuming post-workout carbs decreases immunosuppression that comes about from hard training. Now what I'm referring to here is cortisol, a major stress hormone. Now when you train intensely, you stress the body which makes cortisol rise and immune function to go down. The goal after training is to return cortisol levels to normal and that's where fast digesting carbs come into play. When fast carbs are consumed immediately after training, muscle glycogen is restored, cortisol levels decrease, and immune function improves. There are a number of specific vitamins and minerals critical to immune system health, including vitamin A, B6, B12, vitamin C, D, E, fluoric acid, copper, iron, selenium, and zinc. Your immune system can take a hit even when a marginal deficiency in any of those micronutrients is present. Zinc and selenium, for example, tends to be quite low in people who train intensely. For those who struggle to get all their daily vegetable requirements in consistently, I would recommend supplementing in the form of a superfood. A supplement you can add to a number of your meals throughout the day that will provide you a whole host of immune supporting micronutrients. Guys, while body composition improvements as in burning fat and building muscle are important, they mean nothing if you don't have your health. Now, more than ever, it's important to be actively supporting and strengthening our immune systems. Guys, get smart about your immune system. Stay healthy, stay safe, and keep chasing your goals. I'm Tyron Bell, and I'll see you on the next one.